Okay, and uh, now we're back for our, our final uh, one of these that I'm going to do tonight, anyway. Um, and that's uh, just how to do some basic error troubleshooting when you do run into a problem. So uh, to do that, I'm just going to go and revisit some of the um, some of these uh, things that we've done already and kind of add some stuff into them. So, uh, for example, the very first program that we did and I'm just going to that's name I'm just going to come here and I want to set that as my main project for now just to make my life easy because that's the one that I'm currently going to work on so when I look at this one here uh, everything looks okay so let's say I make a mistake here I remove a, uh, my end quote so now my quotes aren't in balance you immediately know that you have a problem because you got this red line going on. By highlighting over that red line, you'll get an unclosed string literal. That that's your hint to tell you, hey, I didn't close my quotes. Anytime you see unclosed string, that's what that means. Uh, you can always try Alt and Enter to see if it gives you any hints as to what to do. Always a helpful thing. This case didn't do much. You can even try to run your program to see what happens, and it'll tell you, oh, things are, uh, something didn't work properly. You can try it anyway. When you try it, you get an exception in thread, blah, 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 blah. Uh, and here's the big key. So, name Java 17. So if we go down to line 17, now we take a look at what that actual, actual error is. It says uh, uncompilable source code. There's something not right in line 17. So in this case, that plus that uh, red line and the clue says that uh, you have an um, unclosed string literal. You get the idea that you need to close your code. So that's one type of issue that you run into. When I run this now, everything's happy. So let's say instead of a um, uh, a quote missing, let's say we're missing the close bracket. Okay, we still get the same sort of thing. I'm going to try to run this. I'm going to run anyway and see what error it tells us. Now, it didn't give us an error then. Every now and again, you might find that you have to go to uh, where am I? Over to here and say clean, then try to run it. Now it's kind of being smart enough to uh, to get through it. So in this case, Jav is just kind of filling in the blanks and letting you off the hook. It, it's surprising that it actually did that. Um, now if I do the same thing with the, the front bracket, let's see what happens. There we go. Uh, the main reason that most likely worked the first time is that um, that there was nothing that was coming after that. That's all I can think of because it really shouldn't have worked. Um, so again, we have the same sort of thing. It tells us line 17 is our issue. We look up line 17 and go, oh, okay, yeah, um, something doesn't look right there. And I get not a statement. What's not a statement? And you look and you realize, oh, okay, I'm missing my brackets. All right. So now the next one I'm going to go to just for a fairly common error that you run into is I'm going to go back to the comment dialog. So and we'll make that our main project. All right, so let's just run that, make sure it's still working. Okay, everybody's happy it's working. So what we're going to do is see where we have our import. I'm just going to comment out the import line. Now, when I comment out that import line, I immediately get this uh, issue pop up that tells me, hey, I can't find my symbol. What do I do? Try Alt Enter. And it's not going to know what to do either. Because, well, 
there we go. I'm going to do it the second time after I click on the line. It'll either add that information or it'll it'll let you kind of create a thing to do that. So that's one quick way to do it. I'll, I'll take care of that now in one second. Let's see what the error looks like. So again, same sort of pop-up. And what does it tell you for your error? Well, it tells you that J options show message dialog. Um, is not compilable and uh, that's about it when you highlight over it you can see that you cannot find symbol that's the actual error message and uh, as I said when I highlight on, on it and hit alt and enter it'll say do I want to just import my uh, swing package for that and I'll say okay and you see that it automatically dropped back in up here, even though I had it commented out there. And now everything's happy again. So they're just some of the little errors that you can see. I'll leave that up on top there now. Um, when you're working with Java, there's obviously going to be more. We'll get into some logic errors and stuff when we start to get into some variables in the. Uh, in the next couple of units, but for right now, uh, you guys should be more than good to uh, to to go and uh, get cracking at it. So, uh, if you guys have any questions, don't uh, don't hesitate to let me know, and I will talk to you all later. Bye for now.